Okay, so this is just a brief introduction on how to achieve more realistic results using PeachFuzz. And as you may know, this feature is present on every human being. It's just so subtle that we typically don't notice it. Um, but it is definitely noticeable if it's not there. And that's why renders today often look artificial, because those subtle human features are missing. And so you'll notice if you look at the more professional uh, renders, often done in Maya, they typically do, do have this feature. And I'll just give you a couple examples here. And I believe these were also done in Maya. And of course, a couple reference images. This is Anna Sophia Robb. And uh, Emma Watson. Okay. So if you are going for hyperrealism, uh, Peach Fuzz is definitely a feature that you'll want in your arsenal. Okay. So let's get started. I have a, uh, a very basic scene here. We just have a Victoria 7 character and a couple box lights and a floor. So to apply the peach fuzz hair, uh, you would simply do it the same as any other hair product. You would um, click on your Genesis 3 based character uh, and then navigate to the Genesis 3 female folder um, and within the hair subfolder you'll find uh, the Peach Fuzz product and of course to apply it you simply double click on uh, each section of the face and you'll notice I split it up into four sections and this simply allows you to uh, choose whichever one you want to apply um, and also to make individual adjustments of each section. So let's go ahead and uh, change our camera to a frontal portrait here and uh, we'll change for now to a wire texture shaded only to help you see what's going on and I'm simply double clicking on each to apply the hair and that's basically it so the hair auto fits to the shape of your Genesis 3 um, based uh, character so it automatically uh, fits to it so there's really uh, nothing else you need to do it's essentially a plug-and-play operation. And of course, uh, you can make individual adjustments of the hair length um, by simply highlighting the section and in your parameters, um, adjusting the slider as shown here. Okay. So let's go ahead and render this out. Okay, and there you go. Uh, so right out of the box you're getting uh, fairly realistic results. Now with something so fine as peach fuzz, a lot depends on your lighting. Um, so we'll just switch up the lights just a little bit uh, to give you a sense of what a different light set might um, do uh, with the shadows of the hair. And we can switch to maybe a side profile. So you can see how subtle 
it is, but it really goes a long way to really enhancing the realism of your character. And as a final note, um, I also include a subfolder which allows you to uh, adjust the color tone of the hair fibers. So if um, the hair is too uh, yellow and you want it whiter, you can, you can make those adjustments um, depending on your skin color and, and hair color and so forth.